Well, gentlemen, Jim, alongside me after another draw, two draws now from the opening two games in the Sky Bet Championship. But Jim, on the balance of what we've just witnessed, that almost feels like more than a draw, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It feels like a win, Jamie. But uh, as Tim was saying earlier when you spoke to him last week, maybe the boys thought they were a bit disappointed. They felt that uh, they should have done more than draw at home in Norwich. And, uh, and at the end, they felt it was maybe two points dropped. But uh, not only is this a, a good point game, but it felt like more when you, it's late on and you get the equaliser um, being up against it. You know, obviously the worst possible start, losing a key defender in the first minute of the game. You've got to play with 10 men on a, on a warm afternoon against a side that you know were well capable of keeping the ball and running it around. Such a back to the wall effort, really. But to then nick a goal, equaliser late on in front of the fans. Yeah, it does feel like three points. Sadly, it's not. But uh, it keeps the unbeaten run intact, if you like. And uh, uh, and as Tim was saying there, you know it will give us a it give all the lads a lift going into the game on Tuesday night. So. Uh, They'll be confident. I think to uh, have gone there on a 1-0 defeat would have been disappointing, but no, they'll be, they'll be up for it Tuesday and fingers crossed we can get the first win of the season. The sending off was hard to take and in the opening minute even harder to take, I guess. So early in the game, yeah, and it's you know it puts pressure on the ref, obviously, and uh, you know as we said in the commentary, he can't factor that in, really. He can't allow for whether, you know, if there's only five seconds of the game gone, if he thinks he's seen something that warrants a red card, I suppose he's got to show it. Um, we never saw anything conclusive really to say for sure whether they, you know, it was a goal scoring opportunity, whether um, that Tom Callis was the last man. I, I don't think he was. I think we had players on the cover and I think if he'd have taken his time to think about it and maybe consulted with the assistant, he might have made a different decision. But um, <clears throat> he was convinced obviously that uh, it, was a, you know, it was a clear foul. We knew there was going to be a card coming, but uh, once it was a red, you're up against it in the first minute, you know, you've got to rearrange everything. and. Uh, your, your strategy, your plans go out the window to a certain extent and uh, say you're up against it and uh, we did very, very well. I was impressed with the players that came in as well, Jamie. You know, it's a shame for, for Niskins, for instance. You know, he's worked hard all week. He's in the starting lineup. He's looking forward to making a good impression on the fans and getting involved in the game and he's withdrawn after five minutes because we, we've, got to make, uh, we've got to make that change. But uh, I thought Dennis Adoy did particularly well. Tim Ream as well, I thought was excellent in central defence without Thomas Callis alongside him. Dennis Adoy did very well. And then, of course, uh, Lucas coming on late on second half, getting the goal, and uh, Kamara as well. So it's nice to see that with the problems we had, you know, we lost Tom again before the game. He was withdrawn from the squad, um, but hopefully we won't be out for, for too long. He might even be available, fingers crossed, on Tuesday. But then David Button got a knock, you know, Floyd Aite went off with possibly a hamstring problem. But uh, it's good to see that the players we came off the bench were all good enough and had a real impact on the game. And Lucas, of course, with the uh, lovely finish, won us the point. You mentioned about the video piece that we did with Tim Ream for Fulham FC TV. It was lovely to hear him mention Lucas because it was a great performance from him, capped by another good goal. Yeah, he got a great goal in the uh, Carabao Cup on Tuesday with his right foot from long range, and then that was a great finish. Today he put pressure, you know, he was there closing him down, waiting for a, a mistake to come, and it, thankfully it came. But he still had a lot to do. He had to poke it around the last defender, he had to keep his composure under pressure in front of the Fulham fans and, and slot it home. and. Uh, I think he's a very talented player, Lucas Piers, and I think he's a, he's a much better player maybe than uh, he's given credit for. It's disappointing for him, he's, he's not always a regular starter, but as Tim said, when he comes off the bench, whether he starts or whether he comes off the bench, he has an impact and he's got the ability, Jamie, that's the thing. We've, we've seen him score some great goals, when you, you cast your mind back to some of the goals he scored for Fulham, he's, uh, he's got an awful lot of ability and it was an important goal, that, and it was a great finish. And I'm uh, well pleased for Lucas, because uh, when I've seen... Uh, You've interviewed him a couple of times and obviously did after the Carabao Cup game and he's a lovely kid as well and uh, I'm pleased he wants to be at Fulham and, uh, and he proved it there and that's, I'm well pleased for him and a uh, great finish and a great point. All of the team inside the dressing room saying it wasn't a case of coming from revenge. The fans behind that goal probably think slightly differently. Your take? Yeah, I, tend to, I see where they're coming from. It's a bit strong. I mean, at the end of the day, it was, it was one of those things. We were the two teams that, were, uh, that made it through to the, the semi-final of the playoffs and uh, one of us had to win, one of us had to lose, you know, but uh, yeah, I mean, obviously it was the, the way they went, I felt the two goals, both goals, the goal that uh, the Fulham should never have, have been really because, it, you know, the, we should have had a free kick uh, and they've ended up scoring from their free kick I and mean, then obviously with, the hind, with hindsight and with the, uh, with the replays we, we had the benefit of seeing, which the referee didn't, they should have never had a penalty down here either, so yeah, and then, you know, the way they went about it wasn't pretty at the end of the day, they were after the same result as us. They wanted to get in the Premier League, and over the course of the two games, they had to do whatever they had to do to, to win the game, and they did that. But yeah, it was nice. It would have been nice to come here and uh, 
and get a good win against them. But I think nicking a point late on will be uh, will stick in the craw. And what I have to say, to be fair, I mean they made the most obviously of the space available by, by having the extra man. Two or three of their players, I thought Swift was excellent. I thought young uh, Liam Kelly, who got the goal, was excellent. So at the end of the day, it's uh, it's, it's just another game. But it, it really would have been nice, yeah, because of the recent history against them. It would have been nice to come here and win. But as I say, it feels like a win, and it's still a decent point. And we've got to ask about Leeds looking ahead because that's remembered for a few things from last season. It was Flygate. I think you swallowed half a dozen flies. Yep. You also enjoyed a lovely hot dog, but we remember it most for that Tom Kearney goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a lovely goal. Uh, home and away, he got uh, sweet goals against him. It'd be nice if he's involved, Tom. Fingers crossed uh, he's not too far away anyway. But yeah, finish. Another quality finish, and that's what we've got, Jamie. You know, we've got players in the squad. We've uh, we've kept Tom, obviously, and we kept young Ryan. We've kept the uh, bulk of the squad together. Lost one or two, but if we can add two or three, hopefully we'll see another season. And uh, if we see a similar goal to that, that sort of quality on Tuesday night, then uh, it'll make the journey worthwhile. Hopefully, they've sorted the flies out as well. Fingers firmly crossed that will be the case then, ladies and gents. Another draw here at the Medeshki Stadium, and we'll catch you again on Tuesday night at Ellen Road.